Hey there, fellow adventure seekers. We're at the closest fam camp to where I grew up. Not that it matters. We are at Cherry Point Marine Corps Air Station and we're gonna check out Pelican Point RV Park. You ready, Talon? As always, Talon's ready. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Now the best way to get here is to come in the commercial gate. And it's open seven days a week, which is good. We are not at the gate. We just stopped nearby. Actually, we're at the paintball course. So we're gonna pick up back on the main road here. There, it's it's pretty well signed. There's lots of signs pointing to the RV park, so it'd be really hard to get lost. Fantastic biking, walking, rollerblading trail with exercise stuff. Yep. On your way in or out. And depending on when you come, you may be able to enjoy the new water treatment plant they're building. <laughs> Actually, it looks like it's right now it's blocked off. Yeah, that one is. Yeah, so we're just gonna come here. You see the big sign that says Pelican Point RV Park kayaking? Guess what? That's the RV park. So we're gonna turn in here. Now, we're not staying here this time. We have stayed here before. And, uh, well, it's pretty good. There's no unit poo. Ugh, no unit poo. No unit PT on this road. <laughs> no, they don't no unit the poo either, either, by the way. <laughs> not horses. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe so you can follow along on our adventures and some of our product how-tos and reviews. Don't turn on this first dirt road though because, well, that's not the RV part. And if you'd like to help us help Christian Based Veterans Charities, check a look at the description below and you'll see different ways you can help us out there. It is a little bit of a drive, not a whole lot. And they do a pretty decent job of keeping the trees trimmed so the bigger rigs don't have um, issues, shall they say. Now they do take reservations here and they have 35 concrete pads and room for more. Now we haven't been here in about two years and we haven't, we didn't do our typical drive-throughs. So this is all gonna be new to us when we see. Ah, here it is. There's the office straight ahead. That's where you'll go check in. Very well maintained. Yep, so hang a right here. Pretty level pads, all of them. I'm honestly surprised there's um, a lot of empty spots here. We got some serious speed bumps. And like I said, um, 35 concrete pads, um, 30, 50 amp full hookups, all the sites, picnic table. They have restrooms and showers, coin operated laundry facilities, vending area, lounge, which is up here. They're making pancakes. I think we need to start. They're making pancakes. I mean, really, the, the griddle is on the table. They're all nice. set at the table and nice. they're making pancakes. There's also fishing and a golf course and a big open field here to run around in. Lots of nearby eateries and they're open year round. So we're going to go ahead and at least see if we can check out the lounge and laundry right here. Well, we won't, we can't, we'll, in a minute, we got to come in back. Park is on the other way. side. So here's some more. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to check them out at all. They're cipher locked, sorry folks. But this is pretty new. So I would tell you that the facilities are probably in really good shape. I can't say we went in there though when we were here. No. And I'm going to tell you here, the water is a little on the hard side. So definitely if you don't have an on the go water softener, get one you'll need it and you'll appreciate it later so there's ice available for purchase in the office when they're open so we're gonna turn down here so you can see 
obviously a lot of pull throughs and lots of room I mean there's some big fifth wheels in here and they still got plenty of room So what are the rates you may ask? Well, as of May 2022, $30 a day, $175 a week, or $600 a month. And you can see straight ahead here too is a little pet walk area with some poop bags. We're gonna show you a couple other things too because we're not done yet even though we've shown you all the campground. Of course, it doesn't take long to show 35 sides, but we'll show you some of the other things that are around here that you might be interested in. And what could they be? Well, I don't know. We had to wait and see when we get there, but while we're on our way there, check-in time is noon, check-out time is 11. And like I said, they do take reservations. So we're gonna turn down here. If you're not sure if you're eligible to stay in a military RV park, check out um, the link in the description below to the militarycampgrounds.us website and it explains all the different eligibility criteria. And if you're in doubt still, it's always best to call the individual RV park because each base is different. It's up to the commander to decide who can and who cannot stay. So here we are. Where you can go do a little fishing there's a little pier there and um, like you saw on the sign coming in it said RV park and kayak well you can launch the kayak there and you can also catch some blue crabs here we went crabbing here mm -hmm. and caught a couple of crabs there's a squirrel frolicking and that's it have you ever stayed here at Cherry Point if you have, leave us note in the comments below. Some of the things I'd recommend doing in the area is going to Atlantic Beach. Number one, of course, um, because, well, that's the Atlantic Ocean, that's the beach. And visit Fort Macon State Park there. Um, it's an old Civil War fort there. They got lots of stuff going on there all the time. Uh, the aquarium. The um, aquarium at Pine Old Shores. The Mariner's Museum in Beaufort, which is actually where I'm from. The Mary Museum is free and it's amazing. Uh, lots of cool stuff to do. As far as eating goes, definitely go to L's Drive-In by the hospital in Moorhead and get a shrimp burger. If you don't know what a shrimp burger is, it has nothing to do with hamburgers, but it's shrimp and it's good. And if you want to go into New Room, which is not that far away, which is the birthplace of Pepsi and also the birthplace of me, um, Pepsi was first though. Um, there's some nice things to see there, Tryon Palace. So lots of cool stuff, especially on the history buff side. Um, so if you like uh, American history, if you like bumps in the road, and if you like the beach, this is this is the place to be. It really is. It's really nice here, and highly recommend it. And well, thanks for watching, folks. Let's make your next journey an epic adventure. See ya. Bye.